uh, in this problem we are trying to uh, prove that uh, it's, a, it's a, this, this result that any open in the, uh, any open uh, non-empty subset of R is in fact a countable union of open intervals. This is uh, an amazing result. It's so important and it plays a, a central role in the concept of uh, uh, measure theory on the real line, okay? And specifically the Lebesgue integration. It's, it's crucial. It's very, very, very important, okay? So let us just uh, give a simple proof. There's so many proof of it, okay? Uh, or, uh, one can inv uh, can look around and find so many different proofs. But let, me, let us just give a simple proof for the, safe, for the sake of being a little bit complete on these web notes, okay? So here, so we are taking, let O be a non-empty open subset of R. Okay? So we know that for any X in O, okay, there exists epsilon such that X minus epsilon, X plus epsilon is in Oh, so that's the definition of open set. Huh? Every point is an interior point. So what's interesting is that every point in O, you can find an open interval which contains X. So this is this is very interesting, which contains X and included in O. So here, uh, for every X in O, there exists open interval I such that X belongs to I and I is included in O. Okay? So now, let us de uh, define the following relation uh, on R. So, uh, for any X and Y in O, we define this relation if and only if there exists an open interval I such that X and Y are in I both and I is in O. Okay? Great. So th this relation of course is reflexive and symmetric but in fact it is also transitive and to see this uh, if X is in relation with Y and Y is in relation with Z then there exists open intervals i and j such that x and y are in i in o and uh, y y and z are in j and j is in o okay so clearly y belongs to i intersect J. Okay, so these two open intervals they have a non-empty intersection, which implies that I union J is an open interval. Okay, and obviously we have X, Y, Z belongs to I union J, which is a subset of O. So this implies that X is in relation with Z. So that gives you the transitivity of this relation. Once we have uh, an equivalence relation, we can take the quotient space. Okay? And for every X in O, it will give us a class of X here, which is the set of all the elements Y in O such that X is in relation with Y. Okay? So, in particular, uh, X belongs to the class of X, okay? So, uh, if X, we know that if X is not in relation with Y, then we have the class of X is disjoint from the class of Y. There are no common points, okay? These are all properties of the uh, equivalence class uh, associated to an equivalence relation, okay? On a set, in general, on a set. Okay, so here, uh, what's interesting is uh, the following claim. Okay, 
uh, x, uh, yeah, if you take for every x in O, the class of x, in fact, is an open interval. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, so it is an interval y because if you take uh, y, which belongs to the class of x, okay, then we know that x is in relation with y, then we know that there exists i, open interval, okay, such that x and y belongs to i, is in O, okay, clearly, in fact, for any element in z, in i, it will be in relation with x, therefore i is included in x, and what you found is that uh, 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 you have an, uh, an interval which contains x and y, and it is included in the uh, class, uh, equivalence class of x, and this implies that uh, this one is uh, an interval. Okay, so why is it open interval? Well, assume that uh, A uh, is either uh, 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 left end point or right end point of Okay, so you see, uh, I want just to show that uh, A will not be in uh, uh, X. A does not belong to X. Indeed, assume not. Assume A belongs to the class of X. Then we just proved that this means that A and X are in the relation which implies there exists i open interval such that a and x are in i which is subset of y so right there we have what? we found a contradiction because your a cannot be uh, neither a, a left end point or a right end point for the simple reason that a is in i which is open interval therefore there exists delta such that a minus delta a plus delta is in i okay and uh, which is in the class of x okay so uh, this tells you that a cannot be so a plus cannot be a left end point nor a right end point so the class of x is an open interval okay so finally we know that O is going to be the union of all and of course here in this union some of them are equal huh? if X is, is in relation with Y then the class of X and the class of Y are identical are the same so here you can only take uh, another set O star such that uh, X and Y belongs to O star it means that X is not in the relation with Y okay so in this case what you want to do is you want to take uh, pick uh, R of X which is where R of X uh, belongs to the class of X intersect Q so remember we said that the class of X is an open interval so it has by density of the rationals it has a rational number so you pick one R of X okay so now you have this uh, point so X gives you R of X where X belongs to O star okay and this one belongs to Q so we go from O star to Q this is one to one this is injective or one to one okay so you have now O which is what the union of Rx where X belongs to O star 
and this Rx are uh, you have countably many of them so this tells us that we have countably this is uh, the set O star is countable which tells us that O is a countable union of disjoint open